Hi guys, James here from Carmana Traffic. Today I'm going to tell you about some of the features that are common to all of the Carmana G-Series traffic cabinets. First of all, the cabinet's made from aluminum. Carmana designs and tests all of its traffic products to a NEMA 3R standard for ingress. The cabinet has a number two police lock. On the far side here, we've got a continuous stainless steel hinge that's tamper-proof. We have an integrated drip shield. And on the left and right sides of the cabinet, on lower down here, we've got louvers for ventilation. Let's go ahead and have a look at the back of the cabinet now. On the back of the cabinet, we have a one and a quarter inch trade size pipe nipple for feeding the cables into the pole. And we have two stainless steel mounting brackets. The G-Series cabinet was designed to mount to four inch and four and a half inch nominal OD poles using standard U-bolts and banding. The G-Series mounting brackets will also accept square U-bolts for mounting to 6-inch square wood posts. When using banding to attach the cabinet to the pole, the mounting brackets can be adjusted downwards for a more compact, cleaner overall appearance. Let's have a look at the inside of the cabinet. On the inside of the door, we've got a neoprene gasket to prevent water ingress, and we've got our Carmana basic programming instructions, which are common to all Carmana products. Over here on top we have our onboard user interface. It's a three button interface. It's the same interface that we use on all Carmana traffic products. All menu items are the same for ease of programming. Down below we have all of our inputs and outputs wired out to the front of the cover plate. On the left hand side we've got all of our beacon outputs. We've got RRFBs and round beacons labeled separately. All of Carmana's traffic products come with color-coded wiring harness for ease of installation. Over here on the right-hand side, we have our input and output terminals. On the input side, this is where we're going to wire in our push buttons, passive detectors, or time switches. Down below, we have our outputs. This is where we can provide continuous power or directly or indirectly control third-party devices. On the back and sides of the cabinet, are threaded studs for mounting third-party devices. In addition, Carmana sells hardware and wiring kits. We call them integration kits for various third-party devices. Join us for future installments. We're going to talk a little bit more about application-specific product configurations and talk about programming.